sons abandoned in an apartment with their deceased brother went before a judge today, and even more disturbing details came out. That's right. Fox 26's Domley Keith joining us with the update. The prosecutor in the case told the judge Gloria Williams and her boyfriend Brian Coulter also lived there at that apartment for months from November until March with her son's decomposing corpse before the two moved out, leaving her other children behind. And this case has shocked the conscience of our community as well as the nation as we've seen. And uh, we need to make sure that we find answers as to how a mother to allow this to happen to her children. Standing before the judge, Gloria Williams listened as prosecutor Andrea Bell revealed once Williams moved out, she sent some groceries about once a month. And according to Bell, Williams didn't know what to do with her son Kendrick Lee's remains, so she continued renting the apartment so his body would not be discovered. Her boyfriend, Brian Coulter, is now arrested and charged with beating the eight-year-old to death. Williams is charged with injury to a child by omission and tampering with a corpse. We've filed the charges that we filed, and this is a starting point. Unfortunately, during the pandemic, an already underreported crime, child abuse, is being reported even less as kids spend more time away from mandatory reporters. The brothers left living with their deceased brother, for instance, had not been enrolled in school since May of 2020, which, according to the Texas Education Agency, is the case for thousands of students. Since the start of COVID, reports of abuse dropped significantly. What we have seen though is the cases that have come in unfortunately are a little more severe. Carrie McCracken, executive director of the Children's Assessment Center here in Houston, says as kids spend more time away from teachers, doctors, and coaches, it's up to family members and neighbors to be the voice for abused children because she says abusers are counting on kids' silence and yours. I've heard it time and time again, like, you know, I think something might be happening, but I just don't want to make that phone call. What if I'm wrong? I think you have to consider, well, what if you're right? Now, you can call 911 to report abuse, and we will have the phone number to the Texas Abuse Hotline on our website. Now, Williams and Coulter, meanwhile, are expected back in court later in the week as prosecutors try to get bond raised for each, and the defense is attempting just the opposite. They want the judge to lower Williams' $900,000 dollar bond and Coulter's stands at one million. I'm Domily Keith, Fox 26 News.